is Carissa Davis with the Atlas Real Estate Group in um, Northeast Denver in the beautiful city of Brighton. And today I wanted to talk to you um, about a frequent question that I spend um, a whole lot of time talking with sellers about and that is, okay, if I sell my home, I know it's going to sell within a matter of days, but can I stay in my home before I find the next home? Am I going to have to move twice? What is that going to look like? Well, um, there are several options that we can do for you, but one of the things that you have to understand is that as a seller, you are in complete control. And buyers nowadays are, are, are educated on knowing that they're going to be renting back or that they're um, going to have extended closings because of the situation that um, the market has put us in. So as a seller, we can be in complete control of the whole transaction and um, be able to navigate it well. Really, there are two options, and I've kind of just spoken about them. But one, hopefully, is just kind of extend out the closing. Um, get you past uh, appraisal and inspection and kind of have those objections out of the way to where all we're doing is waiting for closing. A lot of realtors um, on the sell side and buy side, again, are used to that and are educating their clients on how to, to navigate it. So really, that shouldn't be a problem. But the other good thing to do is, is put a rent back clause in there. We totally close on your house um, and then rent it back for whether it be a couple of months or weeks, hopefully, but um, with the new build spurge in there, you might need a couple months. So those are ways that we've been able to navigate uh, the market really well and really have not had any issues uh, with anyone having to move twice. Um, it's, it's really worked out well for us. Thank you so much for um, watching our blog today. If you have any real estate questions for me, don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.